Uh, Don really don't need much of an explanation. I would say Light partners with a lot of people in the region, but him and Dom, I feel like, are pretty static. Yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, especially Katar XX. Like, I, the first time I even knew about Dom, but they had been teaming since long before then. Yeah. Like, childhood. Like, and Dom, obviously, like, Don's one of those players where, like, I feel like it's able to turn it on, like, easier in teams for I some agree. reason. Uh, forward smashing your uh, partner is no way to really, uh, Get things started, but nonetheless, right now, uh, Pelka and Ryan Ness oh, off to a really giant. good start. But that was a great reversal of fortune right there from Light. Ooh, we all making it back, yeah. Green Boys are back in town. We'll go ahead and get stage control as well. Yeah, that was a huge reversal of fortune right there because it looked like Ryan Ness and, and Pelka were pressing really hard uh, oh, in wow. advantage right there. But needless to say, Don and Light kind of have firm control over you know all both facets of the game right now, like neutral and the ledge, very unsafe, but. Uh, once again, the quick reversal of fortune again, this time on the blue team's uh, favor. That's one way to turn around, right? Like, you, you sit down, you, you watch the stocks fly, but it just seems like every time I look at the screen, the people who are controlling center are light and dawn. They seem to just have immaculate control. See, they have opposite sides to their control. And, ooh, how, how do you die there? I, I'm going to assume somebody got forward smashed. Yeah, it's like he fell to the bottom last zone somehow. And notice how Pelka, again, continuing to uh, hold on to this, uh, his life right here. And that's kind of the beautiful thing about Snake. Like, as he, that up smash eventually uh, forced Snake to meet his demise. But Snake just makes such a great tank in teams. You know, both of his weight and his ability to, like, you know, control space with both grenades and Nikita. So, definitely a great display of that on part of the blue team. And once again, like you're saying, Flambo, look at all the stage control. Uh, you know, coming out from the blue team right now. Man, I feel like the blue team as well, right? You were saying out, uh, he has Nikita, he has Renee. Um, and, you know, Snake in general is like pretty fun with trading because he's going to outlive you, right? Yeah, like, exactly. You throw that on top of the mix and it leads to some very interesting scenarios where Snake will get hit and the grenade will explode and then his teammate will be able to follow up off the grenade. Oh, that was so sick! He comboed the up tilt off of the grenade uh, explosion. So, really good job there from Pelka. But despite all that, we are uh, uh, even in stocks right now, but Mr. Ryan Ness has to be very careful right now. He is sitting on his last stock. Oh! Man. Okay. I, do, I, I do like the weight right there from uh, from Mr. Ryan Ness. It's not going to stock right there. So we're at one stock apiece, but Helka definitely sitting kind of in the red zone right now. Okay. First match, he goes for the back for me for the invulnerability, but that will be Helka going down there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, goes for the other down air again, and uh, you know, like we were saying, looks like the, the green team's gonna have prime positioning oh. right now to take this game. All right, yeah, they're trying to get this uh, the hand off to each other here. A little bit of a oh, this should be easy. Yeah. Wow, not enough Break to yeah, though. Yeah, I that, like one on one hundred. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Covers high. Gives on a chance here to get cover, and uh, looks like they will be fine. Should be only a matter of time. It's to be a crazy comeback to make, Mr. Ryan. Ooh. That could have, yeah, that could have been something crazy. Once again, trying to, you know, fight his way back on the middle of the stage right now. And I guess one of the great things about Lucina is that uh, in scenarios like this, she does, like, even though it seems pretty bad, right? She's able to kill. Well, he's gonna die here. But <laughs> the T pose. <laughs> <out of Mario. laughs> Just fresh out the, the building, <laughs> zooming out. I am here. <laughs> But like Lucina, a two v one character. Like I won't say she's a bad two v one character. I think she definitely has some pretty safe stuff that she can use. But also, like if she manages to kill someone and she's at a high percent and they're at a low percent, it's really just a shield breaker away. Yeah, from making that exactly. comeback, right? So it's, it's not too bad in comparison to other characters in two v one. Yeah, definitely not a bad attempt right there from Mr. Ryan Ness. But you know, the flow of that game really uh, shifted frequently. Like there really wasn't anybody in the driver's seat for like you know too long. Uh, Helka and Light, or excuse me, uh, Light and Don didn't really like put a, you know, the, the choke hold on thing until that last sock situation. So, let's see where Mr. Ryan Ness and Pelka can kind of clean things up right now. Uh, I think what really hurt the, the blue team was that they had so much momentum to start, and then uh, Mr. Ryan Ness got shined in. Yeah. So, like, you know, at that point, the momentum kind of, like, either, like, you know, seized or went slightly back in the favor of the green team. So, we'll see how things work out here, folks. I guess the other thing is, too, that for Pelka, uh, in general, he just doesn't really have the option of of recovering super low. Um, both these characters are very good at going out there, getting back to the stage, making it difficult for, for Snake to kind of approach from that angle. So he has to do the Cypher pretty high and kind of be reverse his way back down and see how he can mix up that way and hope his teammate covers him. 
And already Mr. Ryan is sitting at 101 right now. And in teams, your percent definitely matters a lot more because you're obviously far more likely to get like comboed into somebody else's right throws. So maybe something to keep in mind right now. You see Don fishing for the up smash right there. And Pelka can't even get himself in a position to help Mr. Ryan up because light is just providing you know that great itch where you can't scratch. Right. Uh, uh, so close yet so far away feeling. Yeah, it's like you're in a you're in a business meeting. It's like, man, I really gotta scratch my back right now, <laughs> but I can't. Like everyone's gonna look at you funny and you're just like, oh man, I don't I don't want this to go any further. <laughs> I need this promotion, man. Right, here we go. We're gonna see uh, how they get through this light. Once again, keeping Pelka on the edge, and I feel like Pelka spends a lot wow. of the match just trying to get back. Oh my goodness, Jesus, Don! Yeah. yeah, the quick two for one coming out for the green team right there. Oh. So immediately the momentum is very firmly in the position of the uh, the green team. But eventually you're gonna get the the raw end of that trade is light. So uh, the blue team gets himself on the board here. I, I do like that from Mr. Ryan. It's recognizing that against Fox, your goal as Lucino, or really any character, is to force him to recover low and go for that fire fox. So then it makes it really easy to go out there and hit them or trade with them on the way back up. Nice. Both guys, both players, it's intended to keep everyone separated. Lada squaring off one v one right now. Wow! Going for the down throw, fair. Yeah, and already the share stock force on the part of the blue team. So. Uh, Light and Don kind of having a field day right now in this game, too. Oh, we're going for another fair off stage. They're going to up and real high. Let's Ooh, yeah, and a four grenade high. pull right there from, uh, from Pelka is going to result in his death. Man, this is not a good look for the blue team right here. That's actually going to be game. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That was a... Uh, that was a thrashing, and I guess uh, I guess we're only doing finals. Uh, right, we had a final. Best of five. Someone's so. got to go home today, man. Not me, though. I'm just saying other people. Not me. <laughs> Everyone at some point, man. This, sometimes these events can run pretty late. And be like, oh, you want to cast top eight? Yeah, that'd be great. But I also want to get home before like 3 a.m. So you know, it's like. <laughs> I mean, I guys, yeah, I don't see it right. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, though, that was a uh, yeah. Obviously, that's definitely not the way you'd want to see uh, you see it go out like that because. Yeah, Pelka and uh, Mr. Ryan has kind of got steamrolled in that yeah, last game. Yeah, it was it was not good. That's what I mean, man. Once the momentum is like firmly in somebody's in the corner, it's really hard to rip it away like that. So, and I especially think that um, like when you lose and it's like not super uh, like skewed one side or the other for game one, and you think like, all right, I think we can go back to the stage and just play better, uh, and then you go back to the stage you lost on, and you just say like completely yeah. mollywhopped. <laughs> biggest biggest psych oh, of your life. Uh, and it's best of three, so you don't even get the, like, the chance to be like, oh, maybe that was a bad idea. You just kind of got to hold it and save it for next time. Hold it close. So moving on, I believe this is loser semifinals right now.